this is why I say don't go for impressions. Just use them as jumping off points for your own characters. So I would have had no idea that you based the character that you just did here in this class on that character from like Rocky and Bullwinkle, right? I know exactly who you're talking, <laughs> but, but it was such a different take on it that you just portrayed. It was totally new, which is what we want. We, we want to have our characters be original and unique and our own. And you accomplished that there. So I hope that's not the last we will hear from that weird guy. So, yeah, really good. Like, that was a, a surprise. It was a nice surprise. All right, good job. There's this commentator from the BBC, and he's got glasses and big teeth. Do you know who I'm talking about? Sometimes he shows up on CNN. And, and uh, welcome, players. I hope you're ready for this next chapter. Here we are in London, England. Now, this doesn't sound anything like that. <laughs> doesn't sound anything like that guy, but that's my, that's my jumping off point. But he's who I had in my head when I was creating the character. Oh, and so wow. This is month two of me telling you guys how to create characters here. Is you get a character reference in your head, and then you don't try to do an impression. You just use it as a springboard to create your own character. So the character that I created, you guys said... He's old timey, he's very proper British, he's nothing like Richard Quest, the British journalist. But by having that image and sound in my head, it gave me somewhere to go. That's the point. That's how you create characters just quickly like that.